Uh, you can see that uh, we're calling this salt, serving and loving together. You know, from uh, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, he said, you are the salt of the earth. He said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples, that you love one another. It is so wonderful to be able to focus ourselves on each other and focus ourselves on our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there, there are a lot of scriptures that deal with how we should uh, behave towards one another. Uh, one of those is found in Philippians, the second chapter, verses three and four. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interest, but also for the interest of others. And we know from scriptures such as Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verses 24 and 25, that we are to be an encouragement to one another. Paul talked a lot when he wrote to the church in Thessalonica about how we should behave towards one another. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 11 through 18, there is uh, quite a bit of information there. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another just as you also are doing. He goes on to say, be at peace among yourselves. And then he, later he says, see that no one renders evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good, both for yourselves and for all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And a familiar passage in Colossians, the third chapter and verse 16 dealing with our singing, and even in our singing, what we're doing is we're encouraging one another. We have uh, divided the congregation into four care groups, and as I said, we're calling these SALT teams. There are two deacon families that will be support, supported by an elder family for coordination of each of these teams. We'll periodically reorganize, probably at least on an annual basis, so that over time we can have a closer relationship with every member of the congregation. And, you know, SALT teams are encouraged to have fellowship events, to be involved in service projects, do fun activities. All of this is a way of implementing the intent of the scriptures that I've just referenced. So that you'll know more about this, an information packet has been prepared for each family unit. So you can have more detailed information on the purpose of these care groups as well as see which team you're on. The deacons and elders who are involved in each of these groups uh, are in the process of distributing packages to each uh, family unit. And if you want an earlier look at this, we have put a display in the lobby. There list all the members of the various teams and there's a brochure that will help to help you understand the purpose and, and guidance for that. I know that tonight, uh, because of the inclement weather, uh, we will live stream a message for you, but Hopefully you'll be able to come back on Wednesday night at seven o'clock for class. And when you do, check out that display in the lobby. On our screen, we're, we're showing the four care group leadership. There's an elder assigned to each of those SALT teams and two deacon families assigned to each of those SALT teams. And we look forward to you getting to know them better and for us to work together so that truly we will be serving and loving together and that God can see our love for each other and our love for him. As I indicated, uh, we will not.